Well, every week right here at four, we are featuring a dog considered to be at risk at Metro Animal Services. These are wonderful dogs who would thrive in a home of their own, but most have never even been given that chance. Today's WHAS 11 shelter stars a one year old who was absolutely terrified when she found herself locked in a kennel at the shelter. But every time she gets out, her sweet personality blossoms more and more. Now she's a staff favorite. Today we want to introduce you to Pepperoni Pasta Salad. It's hot for a butt dog. This one year old mix stands out with her unique face, a bit squished for a big dog, and her breath, it's just as cute as it is quirky. She has the cutest little ears that sit on top of her head and big round fat cheeks. Pepperoni pasta salad, or Pep as staff call her, is so easy to love. She snuggles right into your arms as soon as she's given the chance. Fearful at first, she has finally started to flourish after lots of love from the staff. She was terrified of everything, the leash, the kennel, us, um, but I, you know, slowly tempted her with treats and she met other dogs and she just opened up. Here's what we know about the staff favorite. She does great with other dogs. She knows basic commands like sit. Her energy is considered very manageable. While she likes to play, she's not overly active. And after overcoming her fear of the leash, she's proved to be a great walker. I think that she would enjoy a combination of, you know, hanging out on the couch and uh, maybe going for some daily walks or hikes or something like that. I think she would be a great buddy for either one of those things. Good girl. One of the challenges Pep is sure to face is the color of her coat. For some reason, black dogs are often overlooked at the shelter. But staff member Jade hopes you remember this. I think that the ones that get overlooked or, um, you know, are usually end up being the best dogs here. I think that she uh, is worth someone to take a chance on her. Well, right now, Pep is in foster, so the best way to meet her is to contact the foster coordinator at Metro Animal Services. You can email her at masfoster at louisvilleky.gov. And we want to remind you, when you bring a dog home from the shelter, it might take some time to for them to really settle in. The shelter actually calls this the 333 rule. The first three days, the dogs won't be comfortable enough to be themselves. They might hide, avoid food or water, and feel overwhelmed. After three weeks in the home, they'll start to settle in, hopefully feeling more comfortable, and they'll start to explore, let their guard down. You might notice some behavior problems, that means it's a good time to work on training. Realistically though, you have to remember, it will take three months for these animals to be completely comfortable in their new home.